She's a very young girl in a lot of ways. I think that she's your typical, slightly naive, sheltered teenager. A regular guy, grew up on a farm, uh, so used to manual labor. He's uh, like had a, a scholarship to go to Kent State, just a regular, a regular guy, but like Cassie's character, he's gone through a tremendous amount of loss. We, we had to do uh, some boot camp, and we did some airsoft, and we, did, we went out and uh, had a, a military advisor, and he would tell us how to cover each other, and how to take corners, and how to do man-to-man -man coverage, and do all these different things. A young American girl with a troubled past answers um, an advert to come to England to look after a small eight-year-old boy um, as his nanny while his parents allegedly go on holiday. And um, when she meets the family, it's uh, the couple's older and they're a bit strange and eccentric and they have a lot of rules for their eight-year-old son because they've never left him alone. And when she meets the kid, though, uh, he's not a boy at all. He's a, he's a late-year-old, life-size porcelain doll. They present themselves to the outside world as a couple uh, who had a son who was killed in a terrible fire, an accident in the fire. I think what most appealed to me about this character is just the journey she goes on. I was reading the script, and I, I was on one half really terrified and on another half so excited, and that's how I felt as we filmed it, just that feeling of, I can't wait to play this, and then this thing happens, and these these huge changes occur through the whole story, and it's just the sense of fun, really.